So there's this idea floating around that the best AI engineers this year in 2025 are just really good at coding or technical skills. And I mean, don't get me wrong, coding is important, but what if I told you that the real differentiator skill that sets people apart for AI engineering or really any skill in tech at all, isn't technical at all. It's actually communication clear, scalable, impactful communication. And we're gonna get into the details of what exactly this looks like, why it matters, because I know it kind of can sound boring, but stick with me, because what I'm about to show you might change how you work, how you collaborate, and even how you present yourself in this new AI first world. All right, let's dive into it. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for more tech coding AI videos. But first, here's a quick story from my own life. When I first got hired into tech, I wasn't the best coder in the room. Not even close at all, actually. I mean, what helped me stand out though, what actually got me the job, was my ability to communicate. Because I could explain what the code was doing in a way that made sense to non-technical people. I could write documentation really well, I could hop on a call with a client, translate the work, the actual code into business value. And that made my ability way more useful before my technical skills were able to catch up. And that's actually what my boss told me when they hired me. The further I got though into AI and ML, especially in consulting, this is what I realized. Communication is no longer a nice to have skill. It's literally the core of the job that you need, whether you're like myself in AI ML consulting, whether you're an AI engineer, whatever role you take. So let's take a second to look at what's actually happened. You see, AI is isn't just a specialized thing anymore. It's everywhere. I mean, everywhere you look, you see AI. Actually, a really interesting stat is one in four new US tech jobs now require AI experience. One in four, not just at startups or research labs. We're talking banks, marketing firms, healthcare education. I mean, it's the backbone of everything nowadays, and it's going to continue going that way. A report from Gardner in 2024 predicted that by 2026, 80% of enterprise applications will include some form of Gen AI functionality. I mean, that means AI teams aren't isolated anymore. They're literally threaded or woven into everything. And here's what those job listings also want. People who can talk about it, people who get excited about it and can explain it. People who can explain what their model does, why it matters, and most importantly, how to use it. Okay, a recent, one more stat I'm gonna throw at you here. A recent LinkedIn Future of Work report listed communication as one of the top three skills for AI adjacent jobs. And this was right alongside machine learning and data analysis. Because if no one understands the system you've built, it doesn't get used internally or externally. Or worse, it gets misused. Okay, let's nail this down though with a few more numbers. A few more data points. I'm really into data recently, or just like when I'm researching these titles, understanding where the data lies. First up, 85% of employers say communication is a top soft skill they look for. I mean, even in technical roles. 64% of AI professionals say they wish they had stronger storytelling skills. Now in job descriptions, communication actually appears more frequently than technical terms such as TensorFlow or natural language processing. So you can see the trend here. Communication is really the heart or the backbone, whatever term you wanna say, for any role, AI engineering, but also I think any role nowadays. The tech is there. AI can produce the tech alongside us humans, but it can't do the communication part. So here's how I scale my own communication, especially when I'm consulting in AI and ML for companies. I use HeyGen, and honestly, it's become one of my favorite tools. Imagine this, okay. I write one script. Sometimes when I'm consulting, I'm doing different kinds of short form videos explaining things. And it's an explainer video on, let's say, how transformer models work. And I want to share that with multiple teams across different time zones, different formats, maybe even different languages. Bienvenido al mundo de Heijen, donde la narración impulsada por IA, the come by Heijen. Now, normally that would take days of filming. And then sometimes for translation, I used to have to get someone to come in, translate the video for me. It was a really big headache, but not anymore. Now with HeyGen, what I do is I create avatars of myself, clones basically, if you will. They can speak in different tones, different languages, and even adjust for formality. So basically I can do the thinking and filming once and HeyGen helps me say it say 10 different ways. So now for client explainers, tutorials, I can scale them, which is huge when you think about it. And they also feel personal. People feel like I'm speaking directly to them because I am, it's just my clone. It's not replacing me, it's about extending me without burning out, which I definitely was doing before. 
Now, a report from Deloitte highlighted that teams using multilingual AI video tools for internal communication saw a 40% increase across team alignment, which is huge. I linked HeyGen down below, so make sure to go check it out, whether you're an educator, developer, maybe looking to teach your team or onboard your team about your tools or products. Maybe you're a business owner and just want to spread the word about what you are building quicker to many different countries, languages, cultures, etc. I mean, it's really incredible. Okay, let's get back to communication though. I mean, we were just talking about it, but let's get back to why this is so important. Let's zoom out for a second here. I mean, every part of working in AI is becoming cross-functional when you think about it. You're not just in your IDE anymore if you're a developer. You're talking to product managers, designers, customers, I mean, compliance teams. It used to be back in the day, especially for developers, that we could just be in our basements coding and life would be good. Not anymore. In fact, a McKinsey survey found that 72% of high-performing AI teams had strong collaboration across different departments, which isn't really surprising. But in lower-performing teams, that number dropped actually between 30%. So you're not just writing prompts, you're shaping how machines interpret language, which is literally a communication skill when you think about it. And when it comes to things like, say, trust, especially in teams, if you are able to communicate and explain, I mean, that's not just about helping others or you know solve big problems it's about connecting with your team and in a real way that people can understand taking the tech back for a sec here i mean think about clear documentation simple videos transparent dashboards they build trust and trust is how your ai model survives i mean going forward the engineers who do that well they're the ones who are getting promoted and they are also the ones leading the team setting the roadmaps influencing policy i mean every time i go to a conference nowadays i see an ai engineer giving a talk or interacting with others and you didn't see that in the past nowadays though these are the superstars these are the people being put forward to communicate what is being built now let's talk a little bit about what goes wrong without communication. I mean, we've all seen it, this incredible model or tech that we've built and it never launches or worse, no one uses it right away. And that usually actually isn't a tech problem. It's a communication problem. So let's, I'm going to share with you a personal story. When I consult with companies on AI and ML projects, I see this a lot. The words that we use as technical people say token length, fine tuning can get wildly, wildly misinterpreted. Okay. Here's an example. One time our product manager thought our zero shot communication model meant it had a 0% success rate. That's not their fault. I mean, it's just our job to bridge that gap. Another company I worked at had a brilliant, really great fraud detection model, but the finance team didn't trust the results because they didn't understand the inputs. The team had to pause everything to build trust through explainers, walkthroughs, I mean, simplified language, which really slowed down everything, including at the end of the day, income, and this was a startup, so things were building quickly, and then to slow it down, it was not good. Okay, so you can see through this video, there are so many different ways to connect with others, to communicate, and that really is the number one skill. So you might be thinking, well, Tiff, how do you get that communication to further your career? And how do you communicate that you have good communication skills? Well, the best way is to put yourself out there, whether it be through documenting your communication with writing blogs, creating videos, maybe using HeyGen to create some of those videos, or expand them anyways. Uh, taking people up for coffee you have to put yourself out there and I know that can be really scary especially sometimes for the long time in tech we've been able to get away with not having strong communication then all of a sudden that we need to have this communication it can feel a little bit intimidating and overwhelming the good news is take it from myself who has definitely had to overcome this take little steps at a time maybe just write a short blog at first at work or use some of your work hours that are for learning to get into a public speaking course, even if you don't plan on public speaking anytime soon. But just push yourself to take that next step, no matter where you are at in your career, because communication is the one thing right now that technology can't really replace us with or take away from us. And if you are someone who's able to communicate that technology really well, I mean, that is a game changer. I'm curious to hear. Do you think we're, I'm spot on with this with communication? I mean, I did a lot of research and I know I shared some data points to back it up, but what do you think is the most important skill? I mean, obviously technical skills are key. They're essential. No one's saying that, but communication is a huge aspect of it. Leave down in the comments. And also too, I put four other video topics that we are going to be working on. Vote on which one you want to see next, which one is most helpful to you where you're at. All right, I'll see you all soon. Thanks everyone. Oh, and make sure, go check out HeyGen. Can you tell, wait. Let's do two, two ones. Is this me or is this AI? Was that me or is this AI? Comment down below, is it A or B? And I'll let you know. Okay, bye everyone.
ठीक है मैं अब और कॉफी लेने जा रहा हूं भले ही शायद मैंने पहले ही बहुत पी ली हो धन्यवाद जल्द ही मिलते हैं